also rope and Ashwini Sivaj, who is a defense expert. Good morning, Mr. Sivaj. Indian consulate in San Francisco set on fire, second attack in five months. But also we need to know that more than just a challenge to Indian sovereignty, these kind of attacks also present a significant threat to Western countries. Your first view. Well, absolutely. Clear. You see, the point is, as far as India is concerned, we must take a very strong exception to that, and we must take uh, to the government of these countries, especially U.S., U.K., Canada, and uh, Germany, that, you know, we cannot accept this sort of uh, behavior. And in case the Khalistani attack there, there is a failure of the government there. They are not giving adequate police protection, and that is why this incident takes place. You know, we have to send a very stern message. As it is, you have seen it, those Khalistanis who were involved in this activity, they have been eliminated one after the other. They are also going to meet the same fate. But all said and done, the point is we cannot allow anti-India sentiment to rise in this countries at the same time attacking our embassy. That is not acceptable. We must draw a red line as far as these things are concerned. And we must take a very strong uh, exception to the government of these countries that how are you allowing that as actions, basically these actions are taking place in your country. This is your responsibility to give an adequate protection. I suppose a very strong message needs to be sent because it's happening too very often. Yes. I know the NSA is taking up the case, the government is taking up the case, but then these countries have to act. What happened in UK, everyone knows in the world. What happened earlier in um, US, uh, again, no, now San Francisco, it is becoming too um, very often. We have to send a stern message. And one thing is very clear. The ISI is totally involved in that. That we have exposed last time. We must internationally expose. This is ISI handiwork. And they are the one with the sick for justice with the Khalistani uh, you know, forces, they are trying to destabilize. And this uh, action should be uh, ensured that these activities of Khalistanis in support of this ISI must be stopped at the earliest. Well, Mr. Savaj, uh, when the similar attack happened in March, the message that India gave to U.S. was on the similar lines, reminding uh, the U.S. government of the obligation to protect and secure the Indian diplomats there. But when we speak of the threat that such entities impose, it is not only a threat for the India's uh, territorial integrity, but it also somewhere exploits uh, the liberal laws of the host countries. Absolutely. They may be a liberal law, but we, this is not acceptable. The point is that country has failed in providing adequate protection to our embassy. You can't allow that. You see, if you are a strong country, you send a strong message to that uh, country where our embassies are there. Whether it is U.S., U.K., Canada or uh, Germany, we must send a very strong message. We can't allow this uh, activity to take place. And let me tell you, this is total handiwork of ISI. These are footprints of ISI. And this is a K2, basically Kashmir and Khalistan. All these activities are done by this Khalistan commando force and their thick force justice. And this has been totally been funded and uh, trained and motivated by ISI. We need to expose. My point is that the governments of these country must be uh, made aware that it can't be business as usual. If you allow uh, anti-India sentiment and it impacts the territorial integrity, sovereignty of our nation, it can't be business as usual, especially countries like Canada. If they want a free trade agreement, they want to have good relation with us, so it be. But it can't be allowed. You make sure that these countries which are liberal and they are allowing such activity to take place in their country, we should not accept it and we should draw a red line and we say nothing more than that. If it happens, it is going to impact our bilateral relation. If we say so, I'm sure this country will understand it. Yes, well, of course, the issue needs to be taken with the country and that too on a serious front. Well, thank you, Mr. Sivaj and Nikunj for joining in and sharing all those quick updates that, of course, we are tracking.